Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about prostatitis. In this five to seven minute video, I'm going to define prostatitis, discuss the four types of prostatitis, review the evaluation, and discuss some of the treatment options for this common urologic condition. Prostatitis is an inflammation of the prostate gland. The prostate gland produces components of the semen or ejaculation. This is the fluid that helps support, nourish, and transport sperm. The prostate gland is about the size of a walnut and surrounds the urethra or the tube that transports urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. There are four categories of prostatitis. There is acute bacterial prostatitis. The second is chronic bacterial prostatitis. The third is chronic prostatitis or chronic pelvic pain syndrome. And the fourth is asymptomatic inflammatory prostatitis. The symptoms of prostatitis include pain or burning upon urination, difficulty with urination such as dribbling after urination or difficulty starting the urinary stream. Men with prostatitis also have frequency of urination, especially at night and have to get up multiple times at night in order to urinate. They have urgency of urination, that is, once they have the desire to urinate, they can't postpone that desire and have to get to a restroom quickly. They may also have pain between the scrotum and the rectum, or they can have pain or discomfort in the penis and in the testicles. Often they will have pain with ejaculation or even blood in the ejaculation. Let's look at the first and that is acute bacterial prostatitis. This is usually associated with fever, chills, may have accompanying nausea, vomiting, painful urination, frequency of urination, and difficulty starting the urine stream. Chronic bacterial prostatitis or the second type of prostatitis usually have frequent urinary tract infections. They have symptoms followed by quiescent periods and between episodes of these infections they may have no symptoms at all or mild symptoms and then exacerbated with severe symptoms when they have a severe infection. Chronic prostatitis or chronic pelvic pain syndrome is the third category of prostatitis. This is generally considered chronic if the symptoms of prostatitis last longer than three months. Asymptomatic inflammatory prostatitis is inflammation of the prostate gland that is found only by chance when a man undergoes tests for other conditions such as a biopsy of the prostate to rule out prostate cancer. Now when should a man with these symptoms contact his physician? First of all, if a man has prostatitis there can be serious consequences if it is left untreated. Prostatitis can significantly affect a man's everyday life and general well-being. The pelvic pain and difficult or painful urination or painful ejaculation is a sign or symptom that should motivate a man to see his physician or his urologist. Now what are the causes of prostatitis? Usually the bacterial prostatitis occurs when bacteria goes from the urinary tract and leaks into the prostate gland itself. Prostatitis also can be due to psychological stress or fatigue. It also can be due to traumatic injury such as the insertion of a catheter or following a prostate biopsy. Also I might point out 
that far and away most men with prostatitis, the cause or the etiology is unknown. Now there's a relationship between prostatitis and the PSA or prostate specific antigen blood test. The PSA is a protein produced by both benign and cancerous prostate cells. And in patients with prostatitis, they have a increased leaking of PSA into the bloodstream and can have a transient elevation of the PSA. And when the prostatitis is successfully treated, the PSA level returns to normal. I also want to point out that prostatitis doesn't cause prostate cancer or increase the risk for prostate cancer. The diagnosis of prostatitis is easily made with a history regarding pain, discomfort, urinary symptoms, and the impact of the symptoms on the man's quality of life. A digital rectal exam is also performed to evaluate the size, consistency, and tenderness of the prostate gland also a urinalysis and a urine culture is also performed to identify any bacteria and what would be the best antibiotics used to treat the prostatitis. Only occasionally is a cystoscopy examination required which is the insertion of a lighted tube through the urethra to actually look at the prostate gland. Let's now look at the treatment of prostatitis. Acute and chronic bacterial prostatitis are treated with antibiotics and often non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. Chronic prostatitis or chronic pelvic pain syndrome is usually treated with pain relievers, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and alpha blockers drugs that relax the muscles within the prostate, making urination much easier. Examples of alpha blockers are Flomax and Uroxitrol. Some doctors will perform a prostatic massage to cause the fluid to be excreted from the prostate gland. I believe that this can also be accomplished by ejaculation, either with intercourse or masturbation. Other treatments that are only rarely used are microwave treatments of the prostate or transurethral resection of the prostate gland, but these are only rarely used and in the most severe uh, cases of prostatitis. There are some non-medical options for treating prostatitis, including soaking in a warm bath or a sitz bath, decreasing the amount of alcohol, caffeine, and uh, spicy or acidic uh, foods and juices such as citric juices like orange juice and grapefruit juice. I also recommend when you are symptomatic with prostatitis that you avoid bicycle riding or you get a special seat that has a groove down the middle that takes the pressure off the prostate gland. In men with prostatitis, there is no necessity to avoid intimacy with your partner. So what's the take-home message or the bottom line? Prostatitis is a very common condition in men after the age of 30. It's easily diagnosed with a history physical examination, and examination of the urine or the prostatic secretion. Treatment is available for most men with prostatitis, and most men with prostatitis can not only be successfully treated, but cured. I hope I have answered most of the questions you may have regarding prostatitis, and if you have any additional questions, I would like to refer you to my website, www neilbaum.com or you can contact my office at area code 504-891-8454. Thank you.